What's up, Collective? Welcome back to the channel. I have an interesting story. If you don't want to hear the story, you could forward the video. Okay, I'll put the timestamp in the video. But um, this is an interesting story. You might be experienced. There's people that are supposed to be going to court, and they're trying to make you go to court. They're trying to... Somebody is trying to find any way to make you go into a courtroom. Anybody who you know is going to court is trying to, and they're in these cults or whatever, they're trying to get other people to go to court for them. That's what they're trying, okay? Um, I got a violation, like a school zone violation, nothing nothing major, right? Just going a little fast in the school zone, okay? Um, but what happened was, they sent the violation out late and charged me a late fee. They sent it late. And I'm like, but you sent it to me late and you're charging me a late fee. So you know what the girl says? And I think that, you know, based on the song that was in my energy when I got off the phone with the representative, because they give themselves away, their music is giving them away. Okay, so based on the song, we have an Aries with the uh, um, the abbreviation MC, okay, that can't stop stalking and trying to sacrifice people. They're having a hard time controlling themselves. Um, they're spying, okay? But what I found interesting that the girl said is, is that there's nothing I can do for you. It says that we sent you out this is what I mean when I say that these people control people inside of offices. They control their body. They could possess them. They could jump into their body. They could make them do things on a computer. Um, because I told them, I said, ma'am, I didn't get anything saying that I owed this. And I don't mind paying it, but you're charging me a late fee. And it's, it's not late. I just didn't get it. She goes, there's nothing we could do for you. You have to go to court. On the letter, it says the only way this ticket will be, uh, you know, adjusted or taken away is if your, you know, your register, your registration is wrong or something like that, your plates or something. So it has to be a legal reason. So I'm not going to go to court and they're not going to take off a late fee for me. They're not going to do it. I'll be wasting my time. But my point is, is that somebody wants, she was, it's like, she just kept trying to say, you can go to court for it. Even though nothing was going to come of it, you can go to court for it. Ma'am, I can't do anything, but you can, you can, uh, whatever it's called when you, you know, I forget the exact word, but basically she was saying you can go to court. She kept, em she must've said court about 10 times. Okay. Because she, it's like something, something wants me or someone to go to court for them. It's like, they, it's like the devil is saying, how many people can you get to go to court for you so you don't have to go? How many people can you swap with? It's like, it's like these people are so desperate. But what I feel like is that somebody is stalking you so much that they know where you drive. They know where these violations come from. They're, they could be summoning spirits at that place and made them send it to you for, for, for uh, late. They could have made that come to you late so that this would happen. It's like these people are doing things spiritually to cause lateness, court fees, whatever, you know, whatever. They, it's like somebody just wants you to go to court. It's something about court going to court that these people fear and they desperately, like I said, you could have had cops just coming out of nowhere today. Like you could have just looked and there was a cop there, a cop there. And it's like, you know, this is weird. Okay. Um, just return the sender. It's these people. Like these people, you know when somebody is chasing them because they're trying to send it in your direction. Okay. It's like these people, if you, if you, they, they monitor where you go every day so that they can, they can start, Okay, uh, this person is always over here in this area. So I'm going to start sending some demons to possess some cops around that area. And I'm, and I'm going to get to work. And hope that one of them fall for it and, 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 and pull, you, pull them over. Or, 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 or. You know what I was... Sandra Bland came out the other day. 
I don't want to startle anybody, but what I what came to me intuitively was that somebody wants that to happen to someone. They could be putting you in a jar or me. They could be doing this to anybody. They could be putting someone in a jar with this name and this uh, maybe uh, a news article or something physical in the jar with, with the name in it that they want it to happen to. These people are sick. They're trying to bind that, that terrible tragedy that happened to somebody else because they feel like it's going to happen to them. So all they can do is keep trying to sandwich people and bind people with their karma. That's why it's going to be so bad for these people because that's absolutely disgusting. When I had that feeling, it was like, wow. Wow. Somebody is that disgusting that they would do something like that because they're so scared of that exact situation happening to them that they must keep averting it out to other people just so it doesn't happen to them because maybe they have something to do with that. I don't know. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. What do I know, collective? Let's get into this reading. Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for liking the channel and all of that good stuff. Welcome back to the channel. Somebody wants to communicate, okay? Somebody doesn't want to give some sort of communication any more time. Maybe there's been enough time, okay? Something is fated to happen. Some good karma. Something is ending and something is beginning here. So somebody wants to work something out, forgive, compromise, talk, communicate, text, speak, okay? The time, nobody wants to um, give anything more time anymore. Somebody gave it time. They said no more time. Okay, because something is going on. What's going on that this person doesn't want to? CarMax could be significant. Um, somebody wants to. Somebody wants to communicate with the collective. Let's see what's going on. Amazon could be significant. A cathedral or a church could be significant. Okay, why doesn't this person want to give something any more time? What's going on with this? Somebody is feeling strong. Okay, so what I see here is that there's two energies that are having no success trying to sandwich in this person that's strong. They may be a Leo. Okay, something could be going on with somebody's mouth or there somebody could be physically doing something to someone or want to. Okay, they could be fantasizing about this here. Um, there's a spiritual whore and a fire sign, earth and fire here that are trying to surround this person so that someone doesn't communicate. Why don't, uh, so that's what it is. Somebody could have been trying to get these things off of their behind here. Uh, these could be some kind of soul ties or stalkers, uh, spirits that are possessing people that are obsessed with this person. Um, a Mercedes Benz could be significant. A movie theater could be significant. Uh, but something is ending for these people and something is beginning over here. The spiritual whore doesn't want something to end. There could have been something going on with a spiritual whore and somebody who wants to expand but they can't. Okay, a king of wands in reverse, Scorpio, Sag, Earth. Okay, they're stalking somebody's family or family to be. That's avoiding them at all costs. Somebody does not want to deal with this, this drama and they're paranoid. Why are these people stalking this family and this strong person? Why are they stalking these people? This person here has unachievable expectations. It's just not going to happen for them. Um, this person is hard-headed. And they could, this could be a pimp hoe situation. This looks like a pimp and a whore. Okay, they want money. They want inheritance. They want money and inheritance from this water, earth, fire energy. Or just a family. Ancestors are getting in reverse with this energy. This could, uh, you could know, okay. You could know that this is happening. 
someone is choosing happiness, which is their family, their future, their inheritance. Okay, they're withdrawing from this energy. Uh, it has something to do with taking. They want they want to this this energy is going to have success, and uh, they they could be giving or receiving something very soon. Some type of sharing is going to be happening. Okay, and these people are are crazy. This again, two of wands and three of wands and king of wands in reverse. This person, this person life is pretty much done. Okay. And because ancestors are being very cold and uh very down, downright manipulative <laughs> with these people because they refuse to leave this energy alone. They're interfe this could be your 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 ancestors or your person's ancestors, your children's. Is somebody who is tired of this energy that won't go away. This person doesn't plan anything. They don't want anything to change. Just like the spiritual whore doesn't want a cycle to end here. But this says it's something is ending and beginning. So it's too bad for these people. It's too bad. I just need a devil card. Okay. These people want abundance and opportunity. They want some sort of diligence and they want to sacrifice this energy. Somebody who works hard, a Virgo sign or earth sign, they want to sacrifice that. They're paranoid. Like I said, this is back out. They're paranoid and overwhelmed. They're very defensive because they want to sacrifice someone. That's basically all it is. Okay. And they're guilty. Something is unfair and dishonest that happened between these two groups. And they're guilty. They're being punished. And they don't want to be punished. But the magic here, the clarity and the power is bringing on the judgment. It's bringing on the punishment. Okay. It's exposing the dishonesty that took place here. So something is somebody is bringing their skills, their creativity, their love together and staying away from these people. All right. This queen of wands in reverse is a liar and responsible could be going to court as well. This Pisces, Aries in reverse and this Aquarius could also be responsible for doing something. Shoes or a shoe repair could be significant. Shoes or a shoe repair. Um, they could have done something at a like if you if you take your place for your somewhere for your shoes to get fixed or something. They could have done something to your shoes while it was there or something. That's what I'm thinking of. But these people don't have anything coming. They're blocked. Uh, their intuition is blocked. They want intuition. They want love. They want compassion. But they're evil and wicked. So again, just because you're evil and wicked doesn't mean that you lose these desires for love. It doesn't change that because some part of them is still human. But again, they want to sacrifice people for it. And they don't want to do anything different than before. But something different than before is happening with the hangman. Okay? They're about to be paused and suspended. And, and something is about to begin here. Period. That's what's happening. There's nothing these people can do about it. But go away. Nine is significant. And four. Okay? These people can just go away. That's all they need to do is go away. This person here just doesn't want any, they want to keep going and going and going again, like the sex, okay? Somebody's very happy being a prostitute. Basically, that's what that means. Somebody is prostituting themselves and maybe losing somebody who uh, they were getting a lot of good juju off of. They were getting a lot of good from this sex or whatever, whatever they were getting. I, I don't know, but there's somebody with the clothes off and a man and a woman, so, and then people so there could have been some something going on sexual and somebody said i don't I, I don't this is i'm finished with that and they have a right to do that people have a right to move on and somebody said we don't we don't think you have a right but the, the ancestor said i need to check you they need to get checked so they got checked these people are getting their ass checked okay they could be checking into somewhere like jail um they sell something these people sell something Something is going on with the opticals, the eyes, or uh, somebody could have gluttony glasses or be going to the eye doctor or having some problems with their eyes, okay? Yes, a nine is here, okay? Maybe Virgo is having a problem here. They can't clean up their mess, all right? Earth, Earth in reverse here. Earth in reverse. We have Aries in reverse, Libra and Capricorn in reverse. Having a problem maybe with their eyes, uh, they, they don't want somebody cleaning their space. They could be doing something to try to deter you or convince you spiritually to stop cleaning your space. Do not 
stop cleaning your space because these people cannot stand when you clear your space. See, clean your space in reverse. They don't want you to do it. Okay, because they want to keep stalking your space and sending demons and stuff to stalk you. Okay, they could be trying to connect with their ancestors to try to get, some, you know, some kind of something, but they're ungrateful. They want something from you. They, they could be, oh, uh, they're masking up here. They're masking up, okay, to your ancestors maybe and saying, ancestors, I need help, but it's really them. They could be trying to uh, catfish your ancestors as you, which is why the ancestor came out in reverse. Okay, these people will do anything they don't have any shame they don't have any boundaries they don't have any sense they don't got they don't got this there's just completely possession possession here complete possession demons are dumb there's a there's a lot of literature that states that demons are dumb um they have gifts they have some something things they can do gifts <coughs> they can see things they can move around they can you know some demons could do stuff but i think the ones that these are working with are pretty dumb i don't know maybe they take Maybe the demon takes from these people and does some kind of trade. Like whatever intelligence these people had, maybe the demon takes it for themselves. That's how that demon is not dumb anymore. And this person sacrifices their mind, their common sense, and their intelligence to have demon help because they don't have the divine. They don't have ancestors. They don't have the Holy Spirit. They don't have anything good. So that could be what's going on here. This person is just completely ungrateful. Again, we have uh, Capricorn, Libra. Taurus could be significant. They could be doing this to an earth sign. There's a lot of earth here and maybe air. Okay. This person is not grateful and they won't clean up their, they won't just get it together. Yeah. Some, there's somebody's interested in a contract or a signing of something or something that somebody's writing. Somebody's looking at it. Okay. They want to see what's going on with it here. Scorpio could be significant. So, uh, we have Taurus again and... Pisces. We have fire in reverse and earth in reverse. Somebody wants to cook or they're doing something when someone cooks. They're doing something when someone cooks. What are they doing when this person is cooking? They could be watching you. Okay. They, when you're cooking, what I see, when you're cooking, they're looking at something you that you wrote. When you're busy doing this, okay, they, they, this, is, this is why they don't want you to clean your space right here. Because... They got a spirit here, okay, that wants to look what you're doing. And if you're cleaning your space, then this spirit is irritated. I mean, I've literally heard these things screaming, okay, when I burn sage. They're begging, please, no, no, no. They don't want the sage. They don't like it. The vampires. To know if you, if you want to know if you have a vampire, it's like stalking your energy, somebody who's a vampire uh, put bleach in the toilet, you know, spray some bleach in the toilet. They don't like that because they're, they're taking waste out of the toilet through the water. Um, make sure you clean your litter box regularly and every day because they, they use, they will do rituals, um, and clean any webs around your litter box, anywhere where there's waste or garbage, you need to keep very clean because these things, they're like spiritual roaches. They, they, they feed off a of waste and garbage. They use this as energy. So um, they don't want you to clean. Okay, so clean because they don't, there's two cards about not cleaning. They want, you need to do it because what they want to do here is while you're cooking or doing something with your hands, they want to be watch, looking at what you're doing over here. And, and, and I don't, I don't know, somebody, maybe somebody in your house could be spying on you, a physical person. Like they want you over here doing something while they doing something else. Or they want to, they want to, I don't know, if somebody, if, if a spirit wanted to spy on you, they could do it when you're not home. It could be somebody in your house. I don't know. It could be somebody in your house that wants to do something, so they want you over here doing something. I don't know. They want you to move. They want you to move. We have, again, Virgo and Aries, but somebody's not doing this. This keeps coming out. I got all these cards here, and this keeps coming out. They really want somebody to be doing this. Is This is everything to this person. These people, what they try to do to me, they try to make you go to sleep, okay? They start doing hexes and stuff. When, when, when this person eats, I want them to start falling asleep. When they, when they sit down on the chair, I want them to start falling asleep. When they... 
I've even had one of these things when I watch a certain video, I fall asleep. I just put this video on. I kid you not, I started yawning immediately. It just didn't make any sense because I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I like what I'm watching. These people, they do stuff like this, okay? Because they want to control you. They're sick and they're having endings, period. Keep cleaning your space. They don't want you to do it. Something's going on with the food. They could be watching you when you're cooking and writing. Because it's something that you're something you're doing here. They're, they're, they're wondering what you're doing. They want to know what you're doing, how you're moving. They're watching you when you're writing something, reading something, moving, doing some sort of maybe when you're exercising and when you're cooking, they're watching you. Okay? And they maybe they they, they they want to do something to make you uh they trying to make you what I've been channeling this past 24 hours is this Lilith, this very strong. Not that strong, but but strong. Lilith and Jezebel spirit. And they're using the music. They're getting very loud. The music is getting very loud. And it's sexual music that they're putting into the energy. And it's this, it's, it's this sexual energy with the spirit trying to latch on to you. They could have you in a jar with Jezebel music. Jezebel music came to me. Uh, they're trying to seduce somebody with music in the energy hard. Like, I mean, this shit was so loud. I was like, what the fuck are these people doing? Are they blasting it or something? Like they're doing something where it's just very aggressive. Okay. Because they're trying to dominate someone to feel sexual. They're tired of someone having so much self-control and discipline. They're wondering, what is this person doing? What are they doing that they don't want to do this? I have to control them more. You know, they could be thinking, oh, it's how they clean their place. It's something they're reading. It's something they're writing. They can't get it. How their disgusting horse, excuse me if that's too uh, aggressive for someone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's, that is what I'm picking up here. Okay, somebody's just tapped in and they can't stand it. This person wanted to go on some sort of vacation. They ain't going nowhere. Okay, see? They're not going anywhere because they can't get this. This person is a prostitute, okay? So there's a prostitute that is uh, nasty, okay? Trying to make you, I mean, this person was so strong in the energy, it felt like graping because they refused to stop, okay? I had to get, get rough with the prayer. I had to get rough and now they're done. And that's it. You got, you have to, you cannot be soft with this energy, they're trying to do rituals on you. They're trying to grape you. This is grape. Just imagine somebody coming into your home trying to have, you know, intercourse with you against your will. That is what these people are doing. That's what they're doing. So you act accordingly. You act accordingly, collective. And that's it. Hold on one second. I gotta get my letters. Another thing that you might notice is that when you are communicating with someone, you could be communicating with someone that this person is obsessed with. And then what they try to do is, it's like, what I'm picking up is that there's somebody that you are to be with and this other person is obsessed. Okay. So what they're trying to do is make you do something to hurt that person. It's like they, they, if they could make you cheat or even if it's with them, you know, like they just want to make you do something crazy so that you could destroy your relationship. Somebody is trying to destroy your relationship, make you cheat, make you, uh, you know, commit adultery or, or whatever. Like these people are sick. They're sick. I cannot believe that these, these are things I don't, they're possessed. So I just got to keep telling myself they have spirits on them. Whoever this is has a very very horrible uh, aggressive sexual spirit it, it's so disgusting their name probably is here <laughs> they're disgusting okay we have 83 or 38 8 we have leo maybe scorpio aquarius okay we got come okay this is all this person thinks about they're sick something is wrong with them 
it's not normal how this person's sexual uh, feel. They have a sex addiction because they're, they're possessed. They don't really have an addiction. They're possessed. I don't call this an addiction. Anything that's an addiction that's overindulgent, I personally uh, think it's the devil. Okay? Like if you eat too much or if you're doing too much of something, this is demonic energy that you need to get out of your space. Because it's something trying to dominate you and make you do something for them. Now, somebody wants you to explode. Exxon could be ex some kind of explode. I said this that an explosion happened at a gas station. I said this. I, said, I know I said it like a week ago or something on this channel. I, I did a reading on it. Okay, they try to suppress it. JJ is significant. Somebody has JJ. They're involved. They can't. They can't get the got the energy, so they name won't keep coming out. Um. But something could happen, happen at an Exxon, Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus. Forge, Ford, Pond, Ponder, Rex, Cox, Rep, Pomegranate, Pom Pom, Pompeii, Greed, Greedy, Cook, Cooks, Cook or Cooks, Don or Donda, Come on. Uh, even grape is here. A is missing, okay? Somebody first middle last name is A is, is missing. Keeps coming out. Grape is here. Okay, somebody's graping people. Like I said, that's it. Somebody, something happened at a, at a gas station, either an explosion, an Exxon, a grape. Multiple things could have happened. I think somebody is homeless or just on the road. Uh, cumin, okay? This is back out. So they're, they're, they're attaching demons and poisoning, spiritually poisoning uh, different spices. Uh, I was channeling someone trying to poison my salt. Okay. These people think that you don't know when they're in your energy. Like, you know, maybe sometimes, you know, maybe sometimes people don't know. But I, I can hear these this very clearly. I can hear these people conversation. Like, these people need to go away. You know, like, I don't want to hear it, but they won't go away. It's like these people are sitting like it's almost like they're sitting in your house or something. They're sitting close to you or something. These people are dumb. They're just dummies. Even dumb is here. Okay, dumb. It's like, what are you doing? Something is wrong with these people. They're not, like I said, they have... It's possession. I don't know what else to call it. Hmm. Murder. Okay, so murder is here. Um... Locks or Jock, Jack, Prod, a producer could be significant, or pr Pros, Process, Cron, somebody got conned. They could have went with somebody somewhere. Somebody does something at a pond. They could have murdered somebody near a pond. Murder near pond. <laughs> police department. The town of a police department could be here. Kirk could be significant. New GOP could be significant. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, um, 
sex on, sex me on, the phone, the phone. Okay, somebody has sex on the phone or sex on something. They need a cure. Yeah. They need a cure. That's what this person needs. They need to do a ritual on someone who's healthy. Come on, sex. Sex me. It says, come on, sex me up. The name could be here. Man. Somebody could be Jamaican. Mexico. Mexican. Puerto Rican. Europe is here. A couple locations. Give me something for murder. What happened here? Again, Nexus is here. Oh my gosh. They're going to start paying me. A bicycle could be significant or a bike. Um... Knox. It's never just one person that does these things. Give me something for murder. Desmond. I did a reading like where somebody, uh, their car crashed into a pond and sank. And I think the reading was they, they found it. Somebody wanted to have sex with this person, maybe. George could be significant. I haven't seen the name George. George is significant. I've been seeing the name George, but I don't... It doesn't stay... The energy doesn't stay around long, but it's, it's there. Somebody got gas first or something, or they forged or forced. Somebody was forced to have sex on something. Maybe a child or <sighs> pleasure is about pleasure here. Somebody wanted some pleasure. They needed a rebirth. Okay. So they did spell work here. Lexus, Alexis. The color red, red is here. Some colors could be here. Somebody saying, come on, though, and got great. This, these people are like crackheads. I'm seeing someone who's like maybe in the back seat, and somebody's like, no, I don't want to. And somebody's like, come on, you know, like, come on. I need to do this. This is like, a, this person needs crack. They need a cure. Taurus in reverse. Gemini in reverse, doing this to a child, maybe. They wanted to have some fun. The child don't got no clothes on, okay? And the child, it looked like the child was riding a horse, child. Listen, let's cover this baby up. They wanted this child's wish fulfillment. Somebody could be a water sign, a Leo, an earth sign, or an air sign. They wanted clarity. They wanted some sort of breakthrough. They needed some new conflict about something, maybe some rumors or something. These people like rumors. They like people to talk about them. A fire sign. It's waste. These people are wasteful. Okay, this person, they needed this person not able to make decisions for themselves. They needed to control this person's decision. Somebody here, Libra. They needed to control a Libra's decision or somebody else's uh, sign here. This could be a child old enough to have Okay, intercourse. I don't know about any child. I don't think any child is old enough, but you get what I'm saying. Like, like this person is, this child is not, I mean, it could be a baby. I, I really don't know. Only take what resonates, but somebody was great. Somebody was great. Um, 
You can see a name here or something that's spelled like it. It could be spelled wrong, but the sound is here. Uh, porridge. Okay, maybe somebody was eating porridge and it was poisoned. Okay. Posened is here. Okay, this came out this morning in the community tab. They keep poisoning people. Okay, demon is here. Okay, demon poison, spiritual poisoning. Okay, they're using cumin porridge. Somebody's poor now. Poor now is here. Yeah, they shouldn't have done this. You know what I was channeling? Somebody who did something like a very long time ago is getting, ju is, is serving justice for it now. Like they did this like, man, at least 10 years ago, maybe more than that. Maybe, maybe 15, 20 years ago, they did something and they just now serving time. They go, it's catching up to them now. They've been doing so much, so many awful things to keep this karma away. And, and it's like somebody is praying. Excuse me. Somebody is praying. Okay. And it's bringing this together. It's bringing this together. Somebody's being strong and having a lot of courage. And that's bringing this together. This family. Okay. Some giving, some loving, some independence. Okay. Awareness, acceptance. Okay. Somebody's realigning. Yeah. Mm. Give me something for murder. Somebody didn't want to be put to rest or under arrest. Okay, they were stressed out about that. Could be a fire air, Taurus air. So they had to go. This is okay. And then we got a baby and we have a young boy. Okay, here we go. This nasty Leo Virgo in reverse. Leo Virgo in reverse. Water in reverse. Okay, Aquarius in reverse. Acting reckless. More cards about recklessness. Virgo in reverse, losing losing money fast. Okay, okay. Virgo in reverse twice. Ten of Pentacles in reverse twice. Could be two Virgos doing this. Okay, twins could be significant. Um, somebody is uh, reconciling. Whoever these people were, what I see here is that somebody did something very rec reckless and, and, and angry with this person. And this they've been tracking and stalking these people. Okay, this is somebody from their past. They could have reconciled with this person in the past, but now this person is reconciling with somebody. This person is ready to move on. They're not a baby anymore or they're not young anymore, but something was going on with this person's life where they were controlling them or doing some kind of abuse or something. And now this person is, they don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. So they're trying to poison the demons. Anybody they can. Monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Poison. Okay. They maybe try to say it was carbon monoxide poison. This Pisces, Aries, Libra in reverse. Okay. Maybe that could be significant for somebody. Um, somebody's mom um, could be significant. But somebody's going to court right here. Three of Pentacles. There's some kind of team coming together about this guilty, dishonest person. Okay, maybe a mother here. Empress in reverse. Maybe an earth sign in reverse. Libra. Okay, somebody who's smothering and they can't concentrate. They're overwhelmed. They have a lot of anxiety. Okay, they could be going to court. This could be uh, an ex or something. We have somebody that's getting justice who's on the right side of the law. Okay, maybe another earth sign here. Being a bum and hustling, um, not a good hustle. This is bum hustle and um, an ex, okay? You know, wants the sex on something because they, this group is making them do that. Anybody that you have sex with and it's like abusive or something, it could be a group. Like, I realized I was in a relationship with somebody for a very long time and they're involved with this. They were involved with this. Yeah. And I feel like they could have been involved with this from from the from the day I met this person. Like if I think back and I analyze how I met this person, it looked like it was like some, some, some sort of setup. It was some sort of setup. When I look back and I think back how I met this person, it, it, it seemed so it was so weird how I met this person. It was almost like it was not real. Like it was almost like, okay. She's going to walk over there. 
he's going to be over there and she's going to look over. It was almost like it was orchestrated or something. Like it was so weird how it happened. It was like it was supposed to happen or something. And it was the the worst, you know, it was like a very bad relationship, very unhealthy. So I feel like these people set people up with people who they can control even if you don't know that that person is a part of this group. This person might not even know. Or this person could know somebody. This person could have relatives that are a part of this group. And that group, uh, it gives this group access to that person because they're related to them. Or this person does know. They have an idea. But they still could be unaware but every time you do something with this person, this group is watching you through this person, using their eyes to watch you, okay? Every time you have, you know, intercourse with this person, only God knows who's involved behind the scenes spiritually, okay? Like, when I think back at it, it I can't think about it too much because it's just like, wow, was it, was it like, you know, was it, was it, you know, was it real, you know? Like, so, but long story short, these people watch you. Like these, I feel like for a lot of the collective, they, they have been watching for a long time. Something, somebody keeps trying to leave behind this justice that they have to serve here. Somebody, maybe a, a Virgo Aquarius keeps trying to move on. <laughs> somebody keeps trying to move on, but they're being blocked here. They need to go serve justice. Somebody wants to go be a fool. Somebody wants to go be reckless and, be, and make bad choices here. Okay, and, and, and interfere with somebody's plans. Okay, they want to interfere with somebody's plans. But the justice is that you got to go serve justice. They're paranoid. Okay, somebody's overwhelmed because somebody's getting away. This person feels like, oh my God, they're getting away from me. This was my supply. I was tricking this person their whole life. This is one of my little experiments. And then I was doing it to their children too. And I'm trying to do it to their entire family. And now I want to kill them. Yeah, that's what this little motherfucker is saying here. Just Sagittarius energy. Okay. It's like their little their little victim is getting away from them. Yeah, two of wands in reverse. So they they you know they're in the opposite here. Somebody's jealous because someone is going places. Okay? And this again, this fire Taurus, this Scorpio here ain't doing shit. Okay, somebody's about to step into their king of pentacles. Somebody's going into hermit mode maybe. Okay, somebody has choices. We got Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Virgo. A positive fire towards Gemini Cancer. Okay. And this Aquarius in reverse energy. Scorpio. Taurus Aries. is, is just, again, they got nothing going on. They want to go celebrate with friends. But they don't have that. Because nobody wants to be attached to this. Things are coming out about these people. Things are coming out about these parties. These get-togethers. About what's going on when people are unclothed in their bathrooms. Or near water or something. Somebody's trying not to go to, behind the bars here, but it's here. Somebody doesn't, somebody in this person's life, right over the justice card, they don't want to go to jail. So they're separating this. These people are separating from these people. They know they're about to go down. And if they contact them, they can get caught too. Okay, so they're, they're stalking. They're stalking anybody who's trying to get away with them and leave them to go to jail by themselves. They're saying, oh, you, you, you did it too. I want you. What these people could be doing, okay, is if, like they know other people are guilty. They trying to drag those people down before they go to jail. Cause they're saying, Oh, you trying to leave me out here to go to jail by myself, bitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna set you up. Some of them are setting up people, okay, that are trying to stay away from the heat with the you know the five of wands in reverse and the nine of wands in reverse. These people don't want the heat. But somebody can't get out the heat, they can't stop committing crime. Some people could stop committing crime. These, there's people in these groups that, that could stop committing crime and they're trying to just stay low. These people are saying, no, you're going to you're gonna commit crime with me. You're going to go down with me too. So it's just bitterness here. Okay, they're doing this for opportunity maybe and to avoid a painful ending. This Cancer Gemini air could be doing this for the group right here. Right here. They could be doing this to a, a Queen of Cups because they're struggling in the public eye. They could be doing this to High Priestess, a Taurus Aries, a Leo, a Child. A Capricorn Aquarius. They're attaching to people. Now, again, these people might not be in the group, but they're going for anybody who's outside of the group. This is family members. 
This could be you in here. This could be your family, your children. They're going off to anybody they can, okay, to stay out of their circumstances. And they want to drag everybody down. They, if they have no way out, they're saying everybody's going to go down with me. That's what they're saying because they don't want to have an ending. Some of these people are going to die. Some of them are sick. AIDS, HIV comes out all the time, okay? Some of these people have, have this disease and they're in complete denial. They refuse to look at it. What they keep trying to do is sacrifice people. And that is going to get them. That's going to take them right up out of here. Because somebody needs to focus on their health. They're not doing that. They're focusing on other people's health and taking it from them. That's not going to save them. They could be doing it to a father. Okay. Somebody who's strong, a warrior, a divine masculine. A mother in reverse could be doing this. They could be sick. But this person moved away. Okay. To heal. And that's when they want you. They want to attach the demons. Okay, when you're working, when you're working or doing something, when you're focusing, that's when they try to attach the demons. They have these women out here, okay, these people who are psychopaths, okay, that have children as well. You see, these people who have the children, this could be the father or something, or it could be the other way around. The father's doing it to you and you're the mother that's upright, the empress in the upright, okay? And they could be trying to attach a demon to you for the group. The children, they could be, they could have sold their children. So always pray for your child and, and you know, all you can do is pray for your children. But any parent that's a part of this here, you have to really be a part of your child's life. And I'm sure you are a collective, okay? But I feel like some of these parents are going to lose, uh, these parents in reverse are going to lose um, custody of their children. Because this is about to blow off the, the hook here. These people, they have you have children with people they can control. Like your baby mother or your baby father is probably, believe it or not, they're in this. They're in it. And some of them were in it before they even knew. They, they, they initiated this person in the group sexually. And this person didn't know they was in a group. They didn't even know. They didn't even know. Yeah, they were betrayed. They were lied to some of these people. Okay? Yeah. And then the group probably came back and reconciled, okay, and, and said, let, let, let's, let's, let's make a deal or something because they're stalking them. They need them now. The group needs them because people are walking away. So now, that it's, now it, it brings you back in connection with these people from your past because now they need to take you down. And they keep trying to attach things to you while you're working, when you need to focus, when you, when you can't stop and pray or when you, you know, they're doing it. Okay, they're trying to, yeah, they're bothering you. In your imagination unwantedly okay the color green could be significant they want your wheel of fortune your good karma this virgo libra can't stop sucking on karma they can't stop sucking on good karma this is how this person survives green is significant my nails are dark green dark green could be significant this green robes this person wearing green dress i see green on the tv okay They're guilty. That's it. These people are this the court the, the justice card comes out so much for these people because that's all it is. They're they're committing crimes. So again, when you see strange things going on in your energy, you you should uh, know that it's probably this person um, doing this. Somebody here could have been murdered. Or committed murder. I do see a child in reverse here. A Taurus Aries and a Cancer could be responsible for a child in reverse. Okay. A Cancer, Taurus, Aries, Gemini could be responsible for a child in reverse. An Earth in reverse as well. Okay. They put an end. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for any ending. Something could have happened by the water. That's possible. Okay. Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn, Aquarius. This whole group. Okay. They, they, they made a lot of attempts. Whatever this is here with this, this, with this, whoever this is, this could be a child or an adult, okay? But somebody had a painful ending and they did this with a lot of courage and a lot of resilience. These people don't feel bad for unaliving our relatives and friends. They don't feel bad for it. So please do not feel bad when they have their judgment, whatever that is. Don't feel bad. 
Um, I see, I saw a word here. I forgot, I don't know. I saw the word and I forgot. Hmm. Dropped. Dropped on something. Somebody was dropped on their, that sounds like a child. Somebody was dropped on their, hmm. Gemini could be significant. Jew, Jew or Jewish. Dropped off. Somebody dropped off somebody or dropped something on this person or uh, dropped them on something. Mop is here, which could be slang for Molly. Or a mop could be significant. They could have done something with a mop. Produce. A producer could be significant. Producer is here. Um, somebody could want some, someone to produce no music. Okay. Yeah, again, these people keep wishing. Um, somebody could be like, whatever you do, you don't have to make music, but whatever you produce, right? Somebody wants you to not do that anymore because they want it. That's why you just have to stay committed to yourself and the things that you want to do. If there's something you want to do, don't let anything throw you off your path because that's what these people are trying to do. These people want you doing what they want you to do so they could take what you, what you want to do. So if you want to draw or paint or do or you want to you know, you want to be a designer, they they watch you and take that from you. They they sit what they do is sit there and watch you do it and learn from you and then when you about to succeed, they take they they do witchcraft and should take that shit right from under you. This happened to me before, at least 3 times in my life. And I said to myself, I'm not going to let them do this to me again because at first I didn't know what they were doing. I didn't know I aligned with it. I didn't know. That's why I tell people don't align with this. Okay. It took a while for me to understand what was happening because it's like everybody in my life was doing this, was in on it. Everybody, even people that I sort of trusted. And I say sort of, because I don't really trust anybody, but even people that I let close to me was in on this shit. They, they all gave into this group. They all betrayed me. So, you know, it, it takes time to, to realize what these people are doing. And hopefully you, you've realized who is doing this to you and you're, you're not going to allow anybody because that's what they want to do. They don't want you to produce stuff. They're trying to stop you from producing something. Join police department. Somebody could have done that. Somebody could have joined the police force. Okay. Um, that's good. Uh, what else we have? One more word here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Kron is <laughs> standing up. Kron is standing out to me. Um... Or Ronald, Ron, or Don. And George. Monifa. Or Monica. Cup. Organization. Cupid, Cun, Rup, Rupert, or Ru, Ru, Cut, Cuddy, Prue, Pros, Neuro, Neuro, Run, run, 
<laughs> mm. MCU. Mm. <laughs> MCU. Somebody with M sees you. Somebody whose name starts with an M sees you. They're watching you. Okay, this M person is watching, stalking. It could be a good person not stalking, but I feel like that's a karmic doing that. Peers. Pearson or peer, a Taurus, pun, uh, Conrad, road, a road could be here, or roads could be a name, RD, RD, Nuke, Nugget, Nug. PM and Q. Q, C U E, or the letter Q could be significant. Um, Gerard, Jerry, or something that sounds like that. Mm. California for some of you you could um I'm gonna be honest collective PDFM is significant for some of you um there are people in your family that have been in these groups since you were a little baby. I've been learning that there's somebody that has been in my family for since I was a baby. And I'm convinced that this person has been a witch since we were little children and nobody knew what this person was doing. Nobody knew what they were doing. And there's a couple of people in my family, particularly women, and a man that's been doing this. Um, th these people might, they might, like anybody who your parents married or dated could have been connected to these groups or these groups. Like I said, th this is, th this shit, is old like whatever this is this has been happening for years like i'm talking about decades i'm i have been shown that for a lot of us this is going back to our great grandparents or our great great grandparents okay like this spirit is in the family it won't leave because no one is no one has I'll say has because you could be doing something about it or you should be, but no one has done anything about it because maybe they didn't know. But if you have the opportunity to know now, if you have that gift, if you have something that the divine is showing you, then get rid of it. The divine is saying pray effectively. Use the word to get these people out of your life. Pray effectively as if these people were breaking into your house. That's how you have, you have to defend yourself spiritually as if these people are breaking into your house. Because what they want to do is keep doing this to us. Whatever this is does not want to stop and it keeps jumping bodies. Whatever this thing is, it just keeps jumping all over the place. It keeps jumping from different people. They don't want you to notice. I made a video about this the other day. They they it's, it don't even got 800 views yet, I think, or something like that. They're trying to hide this. They don't want you to know that there's spirits in our families that keep jumping bodies and finding us. And they keep doing this to us over and over again. And they want to keep doing it until we're not here anymore. So end this, end this in your life. Let this thing know that this is over. This little party is done. You have had, what, 50, 60, 100 years in my family. 
goodbye. We're going to put a knife in this. Well, the divine is. The divine is going to put a knife in this and end this. This has, again, you see how somebody just keeps trying. This is the spirit right here. They could be, the, the spirit itself could be a Sagittarius and it, and it hops in fire signs. Whatever this spirit is, it could be a fire sign. Whatever this is. Which is like hell. Fire could be good, but I see somebody who's in hell right now. This is a spirit that doesn't want to go down and serve justice. So they just keep hopping and hopping around. And you would think that this person is obsessed with you, but it's a spirit that is obsessed with your bloodline, your family, something that won't die and go away. And it just keeps following you wherever you move. You could feel like this thing is following me. Like I notice, like when I move, I always got a crazy neighbor. Like this neighbor is just, is something wrong with them. Like I even lived, like the neighbors was harassing me from above. Like they were just harassing me, harassment. You know, it's like these people possess everybody wherever you go. They want to keep tormenting you everywhere you go. This is something that keeps hopping around. This is a spiritual war that this thing has against your family. And it's trying to take you out through people on this in this physical world. And these people allow these spirits in their body. They allow these spirits to do this. So all of these people could have different spirits coming at different people in different families. And they're trying to hide that. So please like and share this video. Um, and if you're still watching, thank you for watching to the end of the video collective. More will come out about this. But they're, they're ending people. They don't want whatever the spirit is. They're trying to, okay. So we have to fight here. We have to fight and keep trying here. And gear up for this. And have resilience. And keep praying against this spirit. And keep learning about it. And keep finding out what is this. And, and, and communicating with the divine and, and, and your, you know, whatever you spiritually have that's good and, and, and work together with this because this is a spiritual thing. You can't physically take this person out, okay? You shouldn't, okay? Like I said, you should not be doing that. But the divine, okay? The divine is everything, okay? You, you have communication anytime you want with the divine. Use it. Because the divine is the only thing. These people can't, no demon gonna take out another demon. I don't, not from what I know, okay? It's, it's not without a price, okay? The divine is not gonna charge you because again, that's already happened. A sacrifice was, an ultimate sacrifice was already made. So we don't have to be sacrificed for these people. That's the problem. They don't understand that a sacrifice was made so that we don't have to be sacrificed for them. They keep sacrificing people because there's no sacrifice made for them. Because they don't believe in that or they refuse to see it or whatever it is. So they keep sacrificing us like we are Christ. They keep making us a sacrifice. Okay, but you you don't you don't you don't align with that. We are nobody's sacrifice here. These people sacrifice anything, a car, shoes, anything. They, they, these people are crazy. So we have to have resilience fighting this because this is something that won't leave our family until we get it out of our family. We have to keep beating this with prayer and in faith but it's happening it's it's these people the physical body that keeps allowing this spirit this spirit keeps using people of power this spirit is and i say this spirit but it could be multiple spirits okay that are assigned to take out families okay that's what their assignment is that's how they stay out of judgment, out of hell and out of the fire is by doing these awful things. So this person is allowing the spirit. This person probably don't even know you, but the spirit does. And the spirit is saying, you want to do that to them, don't you? Yes, you do. This person is doing this to you. They're trying to get you in jail. They want you exposed. They don't, they don't, they want people to know you rape children. Oh, we have to get them. We have to get them. They're going to expose your crimes. This is how this. They make this person commit the crime. 
And then they say, oh, we have to stop them from exposing us. We have to stop them, stop their children. The child is going to, I could imagine what the spirit is saying to this person, but it's all manipulation. And this person is so deep down in their woes and their crimes that they have to, uh, this spirit is completely controlled. They at the will of this spirit. So you have to get the spirit with prayer because the spirit is hopping around. It's not the divine. It doesn't have that kind of power, but it's getting power and energy from these people that can't fight the spirit. So we have to fight the spirit. We have to align with the divine and say, please, please free my family from this generational spirit that keeps following us everywhere we go. Every apartment, every house, every neighborhood, every state, everywhere. I'm going to close it here, Collective. I'll see you on the next reading.